Hey, how's it going, everybody? This is TomDog247. Uh, continuing with the rant that I did the other day. <clears throat> um, I only scratched the surface when I when I talked a little bit about it. Um, for those of you who don't know what I'm what I'm talking about, I'm referring to about children playing mature rated games. And it's got to stop. It's 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 really got to stop because I'm getting sick and tired of children playing these violent games and going on multiplayer on online multiplayer and just cussing up a storm thinking that they have a lot of free will to do so and they don't they do not and it's it's ridiculous and the video that I that I played the other day um really pissed me off and I know he he said the ch the child said uh fuck um a number a lot of times, but believe me when I say this, he said a lot. That child said a lot worse than what than saying "fuck." Believe me, and I'm not going to repeat what he said, but it was bad. Um, I will give out the the you know the censored version in a sentence. See you next Tuesday. So. That's what he said what he said. And it's it's too much. And that's what pissed me off. And I'm gonna read the um the back of the uh the box of Grand Theft Auto five. Mature seventeen and over, rated M by the ESRB. Okay. It contains intense violence, blood and gore, nudity, mature humor, strong language, sexual content, use of drugs and alcohol. Now, online interactions not rated by the ESRB. And sometimes I wish that they were. However, that would be going a little bit too extreme because then we would have no free no freedom to say whatever we want and everything like that. Um Now I'm doing a rant right now, so I'm I'm not going to uh do any game uh let's plays until later. Um this is very serious what I'm doing and I need to address this so that I can put this on YouTube, so I do apologize for that. Um, the stuff that I heard is way too much, and and I just can't, I just couldn't take it anymore. I was pissed, and I know I should have did this rant a lot sooner, but with that first rant that I did it pissed me I was pissed off to the point where I I just wanted to get it out there and then I would continue and today is that day and there really need there really need to be some stricter age restrictions when it comes when it comes to getting mature rated games that means no child, no child at all should be playing these games at all. And I think they, I think video game industries should, should really be strict when it comes to this, you know, enforce these rules. Like if you're, if you're going to GameStop, you know, you can't, you can't buy the game, you can't buy a mature rated game until, you know, you're a company, unless you're accompanied by an adult. 
And to be quite on to to be quite honest with you, you shouldn't have to do they and they shouldn't have to do that. And you know, parents parents, I really do blame the parents on this because of the fact that you know they look at the game and little Billy or little Timmy wants wants Grand Theft Auto Five. Hey, mommy, I want Grand Theft Auto Five. And he said, okay, and everything like that. And and then all of a sudden they um they go out and buy it but they fail to read the big giant m that's sitting in the bottom corner of the box and they fail to read the content that's in the game that i just read and as a parent you got to make the judgment call on this Parents out there need to make the judgment call, and it's sickening that they don't. They don't take the time to to sit and watch what what their kids are playing. And from the stuff that I heard, from the stuff that I heard, I blame I totally, totally, one hundred percent blame the parents on this because it is ridiculous. And. And as far as I'm concerned, I think the child needs to be take, get taken away from the family. I think child services should get involved in this. It's pathetic. It really is pathetic. And, you know, I, I'm just, it was, it was appalling from what I heard. And believe me, it was bad. It was bad to, to a certain degree where I, I'm just... I'm just frustrated about everything. Where it just where it comes down to this. And kids don't think as well as we adults do. You know, God forbid, you know, thank God we didn't have this technology back when I was growing up in the 80s. And if I did, I would have got slapped, I would have got punched in the Adam's apple. For talking, for talking the way that that kid did, believe me, that bad. And you know what? That's I think that's what what we're missing in today's society is that the fact that we are we are missing we are lacking discipline in this nation. And everyone's afraid that oh, if we discipline our child, we'll get we'll get our child taken away by child services. No, I think that's what we need. You know, you got a child that that talks like that kid that I that I uh, played on the on the other video, and I'll I'll probably even put it in the description. Um, it was is bad. It's really really bad, and it's disgusting, and it's degrading, and I do not approve of this whatsoever I really really do not it's disgusting and I hate it and again we need stricter um, we need a strict stricter policy to prevent kids from playing these mature rated games and and also to there needs to be more monitoring online. There needs to be more monitoring online. And it's pathetic. It's absolutely pathetic. And I don't approve of this whatsoever. I don't like it. And I think game developers really need to to focus on on the, you know, really sit down and take control of this situation and you know what and you know what really um that I really like I like how Nintendo handles their their uh their strict policies that they have and this is a good example because when you go on on the community on their community boards on the community boards they they will ban you 
or and they will send you a letter about why you're getting why that content is getting taken off of the uh, message boards that they have and if you post an offensive uh, comment or an offensive um, picture in that little drawing thing they have you that that would be removed and you may get a ban you might get a ban and a lot of people were complaining that Splatoon's not going to get a um game chat and their reason for that is so that they can content you know so that players can concentrate more on the game and you know what I don't blame them one bit I do not blame them one bit and this is the reason why that n that the Wii U doesn't have game chat in their in their games because of because of this issue because of the uh, the garbage that I've heard so I don't blame Nintendo for making the right move we're making the right move into doing that and you know it makes me not want to put on my head it makes me not want to put on my headset and chat when I want to only in party mode only in party mode and you know it's just sad it's sad how today's generation of kids have acted because believe me those little brats would not last one minute in the generation that I grew up believe me because discipline was always enforced and if these kids ever mouth off um, to an adult guess what happens guess what happens they get punched in the throat they get punched in the Adam's apple and believe me I had my fair I have had I got disciplined on so many so many occasions and you know what I'm a better person I became a better person after that I have and and I, I just think that it's wrong. I just think that, you know, it's sad, it's sad that we can't even discipline a child for acting the way the way that that child did. And, you know, children has way too much freedom. And, you know, it's it's too much. They're, they're spoiled little brats. And I'm actually glad that I don't have a child. I'm actually glad that I don't have a child. You know, as much as I want to be a father, I also, at times, don't want to be a father because I don't want my child living, in, raised in a society where where children talk talk like sailors and they talk like like grown adults and thinking that. They have the right to say whatever they want. No, they don't. They don't have the right to say whatever they want because of the fact that every time they open their mouths, it's bad. And it's wrong. And believe me, if George Carlin, God rest his soul, if he was still alive and he heard this garbage, ooh, he would rant a lot, a lot more than what I'm doing, believe me. And not only, you know, and you know what? I wouldn't be surprised if he's rolling in his grave after hearing this filth. You know, I may say, you know, I'm, you know, I don't mean to sound like an old person. I really, really don't. But you know what? I'm 36 years old. And. As an adult, this 
this offends me. This offends me. And and to be quite honest with you, to be quite honest with you, you know, it is it is offensive. And a lot of things, a lot of things don't offend me. I'm really difficult to get offended on on certain things. Really, I am. However, in this case, I am offended about the child, about a certain child, puts on a headset, plays a mature rated game, and you know what? It happens on every mature rated game. You put on you put on Grand Theft Auto, you put on Call of Duty, you put on um even Halo, even Halo has has its uh has its moments. And and it's terrible to hear a little child cussing like he's in his 20s. And these are probably the same and you know what these parents out there complain on why on why why this is why society is like it is well you know what take a look at your own child and and you'll see why just take a look at your own child and it's it's pathetic and you know again i really do want to see some strict uh some stricter policies to prevent kids from playing mature ready games you know i don't care how you do it and you know everyone's going to say well you know if that happens then what about us oh oh no we'll be fine we should be we will be fine it's just the kid it's just the kids that should not be allowed to play mature ready games period under any circumstances you know if it if it means um putting in a v chip in our uh, in our gaming consoles then we do so and this is a why, this is the reason why that you know there needs to be some some monitoring issues some monitoring being done on these games because you know you got god forbid little billy you know little billy or little timmy play play a game and he starts cussing up like a you know like someone in the uh in a bar for drinking too much and uh inciting a riot she could automatically be a ban he should automatically be banned reg- under any circumstances. And I think that, you know, the more reports you get in, the more banned that this child gets. That means any online subscriptions that, that he or she have, gone. Any... Um, any mature rated games that he that he plays, instantly blocked. Is that all? Oh, then they can just make up a fake account. Uh, uh-uh. uh, no. No fake accounts. Because if they if they make a if they make a um a fake account, and they get caught on it. Ooh. I think it'll be a lot more stricter than what we're than what we're seeing now. Make a fake account with a fake age and everything like that. Guess who gets the blame for it? The parents. So again, I I really hope that the gaming industry really puts a crack on on children playing mature rated games and 
and stricter rules should be enforced when it when it involves a child playing a game such as Grand Theft Auto 5 and, and Halo and Call of Duty and Assassin's Creed and any other mature rated game out there and I know there's a lot and I really don't have time to to address them all so and I, th I think Grand Theft Auto 5 is the perfect example of content that's in this game that should not be played by a child and parents out there you seriously need to be more knowledgeable on the ESRB ratings and make the right judgment call when it comes to buying a certain game for your child and really understand these the the ESRB, ESRB rating and just just say no you can't play this only you can make that judgment we can't be we as gamers or people who sell these games on a daily basis cannot monitor or police your child you as a parent should do that and you need to take action and you need to step up and discipline your child better I'm Tom Dog and that 